I'm on my way to work and I've just had an interesting call from some friends of mine. They've seen a critter in their lounge room. And my guess is it's probably nothing, but I'm gonna go and check it out. Australian Reptile Park General Manager Tim Faulkner is answering a call for help from family friends who live close to the park. Hello. Hello. What's going on? We have got the ugliest spider. Well, <laughs> so slim, sir. He screamed like you a girl. You should have seen it. It was massive. How it's big? Just, it's just data behind the TV, just there. With a scary intruder on the loose, Kirsty and Salim are worried about the safety of their young children, Tilly and Maeve. The fear of having spiders in the house would be the, how venomous they are, how deadly they are. They could bite us and t potentially kill us. So how big are we talking? Mate, it was pretty big. I reckon about that big. <laughs> Tarantula? <laughs> well, it seemed that big when I was scurrying across there. Right, uh. Salim says it was decent size, which means it's probably not going to climb up a wall. It's going to be a ground spider. But, you know, there are lots of big black spiders, and it could be any one of ten species. The most dangerous culprit would be a redback or a deadly funnel web. The plan of attack is to just have a look peripherally because I've got two little kids running around. Now, I could be looking in one spot. I don't want a spider popping out in another spot uh, and getting someone on the toe. So you haven't seen it for 20 minutes, eh? Yeah, 20 minutes. Just hang back from there a little bit, girls, in case there's something behind there. I am not impressed that we have a spider loose in our house. The thing that scares me is that the kids might get bitten, so this is a little bit worrying. Yeah. Come on down. Have you found it? No. Nope. Not yet. Wait. Nothing under the sofa. Little bit of dust, little bit of mess. That's normal, but no spider. Let's just have a look in here. Yep, just watch your fingers there, mate. Yeah. Little bit. Pretty just heavy. Just slider. Tell hop up on the couch. I'm getting on the couch too. Casey runs out. In behind the TV cabinet, I can see a lot of cords, that's standard. But then one leg pops out. Kirst, you are not going to believe what it is. Holy hell. Tilly, just watch out there, darling. Holy hell. You are not going to believe what it is. Tilly, Tilly just watch away. out there, darling. Stay away, darling. Watch out there. At a family home in suburban Sydney, Tim has just made a shocking discovery. I did not expect to find a funnel web spider inside my friend's house. The world's deadliest spider. Just hang back there because he might come under. This spider that ran across right there where the kids are. Yep. The TVs, that's unbelievable. People have died in 75 minutes after being bitten by a funnel web. Now for little kids, they're smaller and that can happen quicker. That's really scary. The pressure is now on Tim to catch the deadly intruder. Hey, watch in case... Whoa, 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 hold on, he's on the floor, guys. Take that, mate. Oh, he's moving, he's moving. Where is he? Funnel webs are not only venomous, they're very aggressive. Big fangs. When they're cornered or they feel threatened, they just rear up, show you their fangs, and ready to bite. Oh, no, hold on. Here he is. Got him? I do, but he's back. He's on the wall. It's not easy to catch, is he? Nope. Come on, little buddy. Here we go. Right in. Did you really? Yeah, He's all right, mate. <laughs> He's Unbelievable. Oh, look at that. Look, Maeve. He's all right now that he's in here. So, Kirst, I wish I could have told you it's not to worry about, but. That is a funnel web spider and a male, the deadliest spider on earth. Oh my goodness. This is every parent's worst nightmare, but Tim has even more bad news. Do you know why I think he's in your house? Why? He's looking for a girl. Yeah, right. So you're so likely to have. Potentially, it could be a another... girl. You're likely to have some girls around. Um, the boys, you know, this weather warms up a little bit, they go out in search of females, and, uh, and that's what you end up with. My heart's beating, and the last thing I want to find is another funnel web lurking around our household. Want to look under the dishwasher? At a family home in suburban Sydney, Tim is still on the hunt for more deadly funnel web spiders. Well, I'm pretty happy inside, so uh, how about if we have a look outside yep. and see where your little mate might have come from? Yep, all right. My worry now is that I've found a male inside. They've also got a backyard and there could be spiders out there. It's the right time of year, it's warming up. 
I think I should investigate a little bit more. Go. Come on, follow me. And just see if I can identify any areas the girls shouldn't go or potential spots there are more spiders. So I'm just going to have a look around yep. and just Come see the, the yard's perfect for them. It's wet, it's cold, damp, yeah. spider heaven. Look, you found a hole. hole. Eagle eyes, Maeve, she's onto something straight away. Well, that's a good home. It goes a long way. It's a perfect spider home, but nobody's here today, so I keep moving. Let's have a look down here. So I'm digging around, using my spoon, and there's a big plant pot that's on its side. I flip it over, and lo and behold, there is our second funnel web. That's incredible. Oh my goodness. Teal, look at this. Oh. Oh, oh. Just be a little more careful with this one, because it doesn't have the clips. Is it a so female? This is a big female. Oh, no. So Tim's found another spider in our garden where my girls play and I'm not happy about this. You know why they're so dangerous? Because of those really big fangs. Now I'm going to take the spiders inside because I don't want the girls growing up scared of spiders. I want them to develop a healthy respect. Ooh. Are they quite aggressive? They, they're super aggressive. <laughs> so this is so why funnel webs are so famous. They're not afraid to bite. They rear up like this, and you know what he's doing right now? Showing you his fangs. Looks like something's coming out of it. That's venom. There you so go. So really aggressive. There's like no a little droplet on. That's right. There's no chance if this spider bites you that you're not going to receive venom. He's already got it on there, ready to rock and roll. The fangs are huge, and even to see a bit of venom coming out of them, very very scary stuff. She's on the move now, so I'm going to put her back in here. There we go. Lid on. We caught a spider. Wow. Thanks, Timmy. I've got two spiders here today, but only the male can be used for the antivenom program because he's five times more venomous than the female. That's the one we need. Thank you very much. Nah, good on you, mate. mate. Thank you. Till? Thanks, Tim. I think we called the right person. Give me a shake. Thank you. No, you did. Hit me. See you, Kirst. See ya. And I'm going to go. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.